Move the grain truck or cart into position under the unloader discharge auger. The grain cart or truck needs to maintain adequate distance for maneuvering during the loading process. Note, make sure the unloader tractor's parking brake is off. Place the tractor in neutral to allow it to move freely back into the bag. Engage the unloader tractor PTO at a slow speed. When the grain is flowing from the discharge auger, gradually increase the PTO speed until it reaches 540 RPM. Pull the bag roller hydraulic control into the detent position. The bag roller will now start to rotate at a slow speed. Adjust the roller speed faster or slower as necessary for the conditions. Rotate towards rabbit for a faster bag speed or towards turtle if a slower bag speed is desired. To engage the optional auxiliary cross auger, pull the control valve. The bag roller pulls the grain bag unloader and tractor into the bag as it is unloading. The bag cutting knife on the grain bag unloader should be in line with the starting cut on the grain bag. Once the extraction has begun and the grain bag unloader is deeper into the bag, be sure that the bag cutting knife is cutting the bag properly. Adjust the roller speed and the roller height to avoid grain buildup by the roller and the lower mound at the bottom of the bag. The cross auger height should be around 3 to 6 inches above the ground. Note, if the tractor and unloader are not steered back into the bag properly, the cross augers may come into contact with the side of the bag. If this should happen, stop unloading and shift the bag roller hydraulic lever to reverse the bag rotation. Pull the unloader ahead to realign the tractor and unloader with the bag. Then continue to unload the bag, keeping the unloader centered in the bag. During normal unloading, the grain level in the bag should be approximately 12 inches below the bag roller height. 